Hey guys, welcome to the video. It's Supernova here. So I'm gonna be showing you guys uh, how to make landing gear in more depth. My other video is just an example on a build. All right. So this is if you want to encase your landing gear in a wing. It's practically one block tall, but not fully. But it it looks one block tall, and they only add a bit of aerodynamic to it. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty good. Shields add good aerodynamics. But basically, you just have to fit this size in your wing. It's, uh, what is this? Eight? No. Nine? No. That's seven. Seven by five. So yeah, you just have to fit this module in your wing. And, uh, just a little tip. Uh, when you're making a landing gear, and it usually if you have, you're gonna want to have the rear ones near the center of, like, like, right next to the center of mass so you can lift off easier so when you do that usually you can flip if the engines are you know powerful so you can set a or logic gate to have up uh forward and backward uh at 0.2 output or however much keeps it from flipping yeah uh you can also adjust on this it uses a piston to adjust how height so the height of your plane you can decide how high your landing gear is and I have my plane adjust it whenever you take off. Like, whenever you're at a certain speed, it'll kind of make the back ones go lower so you can tilt up and go. But pretty much, it's pretty basic, but you can just change the start position and that'll change how high it is whenever the landing gear's out. But then you just have to have G to toggle and the speed pretty fast so that it closes faster, but if you want it, you can make it slower. So I'll show you it now. So you can drive forward and backward, and see how it's out by one block. You can change that and make it farther out. But when you push G, it retracts. And oh crap, this this is rare. This does not happen often. There's something wrong with it. There, yeah. So it works pretty well. Never really glitches like that. That's random. But yeah. It can fit inside your wing pretty much just flat. But yeah, I'll show you the next example now. This next example is the like forward forward wheel. So you're able to turn and steer. It just takes up two blocks of height. It's, you just have to fit this in the, the front nose maybe. Usually a flatter plane so this is better, but you can fit it inside your plane pretty well. You just have to make sure that it has two blocks of space for this one. But, if you go and build on the same aspect with the piston, start position to however high, and speed up probably. But, there's two tube elbows. So, I have the same system. You need two logic gates. One of them for the steering, because this one is set to 90 degrees angle. If I have the steering in this, it's gonna make it um, act up, and it's gonna it's gonna turn too much, and we don't want to turn 90 90 degree angle because then it won't actually turn. So you have it here, and you also don't want the G implemented into this. If you put G here, the toggle will also toggle when you turn. So you want that as separate logic gate. So when you push G, it's toggle here, not on this. Don't have any toggles on this. And you want the output as 1, and the output on this to be 0 0.8, or however much you want your turning radius set to. But basically, it works the same as the other one, just with that extra hinge. So it closes up, and there's delay on this uh, piston, the piston below the first, like the steering one. There's just a 0 0.6 delay on it, so it does this. It closes and opens very fast, and you can drive, it's flush. And it's two blocks so yeah you can take these designs if you want and you can put them in your creations they're pretty nice i've used them on multiple by now yeah thanks for watching please subscribe and that's it